Hey guys, sometimes we can be wrong about what's happening around us, and the reality can turn out to be much worse. So you shouldn't let an unclear situation reach the unexpected outcome. It's better to carefully figure it all out right away. The Van der Herschen family lived in Florida, USA. The married couple, Linda and Bob, and their son, Adam, owned a house near the forest for several years. Recently, something's been going on in their attic at night. They heard rustling and muffled sounds coming from it. But the father of the family didn't attempt going up there to figure out what it was. So it went on for months. The wife and her son assumed that a swarm of wild bees had settled in the attic. But the husband assured them that it wasn't possible. Bob owned a company that provided services of moving bee families out of people's homes and into safe territories. In order to conduct business professionally, he went through training and a course of lectures on bees. So he knew all about their behaviors and was sure that there were no queens or drones in his attic, and thus didn't want to go up and check. It's just mice, he told his wife. But he didn't have time to go up to the dusty attic to get rid of the pests. After the husband's explanation, the woman was scared to go to the attic alone. Their son, Adam, disliked this situation the most as the attic was directly above his room and the nightly sounds made the teenager very uncomfortable at times. So once, the boy got to the attic and looked up after hearing a light rustle. What he saw against the background of the old ceiling beams wasn't mice at all, but a real, huge snake. Adam was shocked and immediately told his mother about the terrible guest. The whole family was afraid to stay in their own house. Linda posted on Facebook about their findings, saying, Home alone? Maybe so, and maybe not. When Bob finally got up to the attic, he saw the invader and even caught him on video. When the family got over the initial shock, they called the Sarasota Animal Control Services. By the time they arrived, the snake had crawled away from the hole in the ceiling so they couldn't reach it. During the unsuccessful pursuit, the man managed to see and identify the reptile. He told the family that the snake living in their attic was a large rattlesnake whose venom is deadly. The man outright explained that he couldn't catch the snake because it was hiding and could attack the first person who enters the attic. The family was terrified that no one could help them. The couple called their fearless nephew, but even he didn't dare to act so recklessly. Bob and Linda then remembered another person, Mark Lampart, a daring guy who was sometimes pictured on their friend's Facebook. He often posed with the most dangerous animals and reptiles in the world, which could help in this situation. Mark easily agreed to help them and spent several hours searching for the snake all over the attic. During his search, he found a large piece of dry skin and told the family that the scary neighbor had been living with them for quite a while. Showing a lot of patience, the man finally did find the reptile in the ceiling installation. He saw the tail sticking out and simply pulled the snake onto himself. Luckily, the animal control employee incorrectly identified the perpetrator. It turned out to be a Colombian rainbow boa, a dangerous but not poisonous reptile. They can attack, but they kill by looping their body around the victim, gradually blocking the access of oxygen. According to the Animal Control Services, the boa could have gotten into the attic from the tree, since this kind of reptile moves well through the trees. After the huge snake was caught, the family even found the ability to joke about it. The father of the family said that they should demand their guest to pay back rent for the many years. All's well that ends well. But if you hear strange noises in your house at night, don't rush to follow the sound in the dark. Unexpected and even deadly surprises might be waiting there. It's better to get professional help, or at least, a brave friend. 
Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up and share this story with your friends and family. And we'll see you next time.